so we just why do i look so bright there so we just went to ava's month, her monthly checkup our monthly checkup her four week checkup but she's actually five weeks right now ava is you can say right here um Ava was six pounds, 13 ounces, like three and a half weeks ago. And she is a nine pounds, seven ounces. So she has grown. Like it's so crazy looking at what she, how long was she? 22 I and I can't a, remember. Like, I think she said like. We had to remeasure like 17 times. Right. I think she said like 20. 22 and a quarter I think that's what she said um, she inches said long short. and um, her head I can't remember how big she said her head was but she said that head. she's in the um, 43rd percentile of weight yeah 43rd percentile so she says she is doing amazing my little angel she is in the back y'all see her <laughs> keep straight of course uh, but yeah so our baby is doing amazing amazing I'm so happy like I wanted to everybody kept telling me to put her uh, just weigh her on the scale with me like take my weight and then weigh her and then I'll get how much she weighs. Uh, I kept forgetting to do that, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just wait till her doctor's appointment and then we'll see how much she weighs. But we did nine pounds and seven ounces. That's crazy to think that people actually deliver a baby that big. Like, people deliver babies that big, like, oh Lord. I'm kind of glad she was the size that she was because y'all know, yeah, y'all know that um, when I had her. <laughs> I thought you said, yeah, I'm doing this. Oh, I thought you were saying straight. I thought you were saying straight. Um, but y'all know that when I had her, I had um, hemorrhoids. So if I would have delivered her at nine pounds, seven ounces, Lord, my y'all. <laughs> so I am happy. I hope our next one is her size as well. Like I do not want to have no big baby. Probably about nine pounds, twelve ounces. <laughs> and I'll be like, you have to cut this motherfucker out. Fuck that. <laughs> I do not want to deliver a huge ass baby. And that makes me nervous because boys, that is boys bigger. Yeah, boys are bigger than girls. So we know that when I get pregnant again, if the baby's small, it's probably a girl. But we will never know that because well, I mean, we we get um me and Amora were only five ounces apart. Mm. Uh, she was seven pounds six ounces. Uh, yeah, five ounces apart. I was seven pounds eleven ounces apart. I believe I think I was yeah, you seven were like pounds. You were like twenty five pounds, right? Suck a dick. I was seven pounds. I think I was either seven pounds four ounces or seven pounds six ounces. I would always pounds. get a Chris. Chris was ten pounds. That's a big ass baby. That's a big ass dude. That made me nervous. But we'll f we find out uh, early anyways because I'm geriatric. So we would find out at like nine weeks. So we would we didn't we don't even have to wait that long. I'm not doing a gender reveal. So. Yeah, me neither. I don't want to do a gender reveal because I feel like we did the gender reveal and then we did the baby shower. Like, I'm not, I don't want to do all that. But yeah, so I just wanted to let y'all know that Ava is doing good, growing good. So, 
Whew. Don't mind the closet. Um, <sighs> today was a day, y'all. Um, oops. Ava had me up until like 8 30 this morning she did not go to sleep you guys like well she would go to sleep for like a couple of minutes and then she'd wake up and she'd be crying or she'll just wake up and just want to be up she had me up all freaking night um so johnny took her this morning and I slept until about I want to say like 2 30 I was just like I can't do it anymore like you have to take her so um Ava and Johnny went out to the living room and I slept my ass off and when I woke up they were still asleep so I started cleaning up um, which I'm going to deep clean tomorrow. Um, my cousin is coming over tomorrow to see Ava. But I got to run an errand tomorrow after she uh, comes over. And then um, I am deep cleaning, deep cleaning the rest of the house. Uh, our office space needs to be deep cleaned. Um, I need to hang up Ava's clothes because I washed uh, a load or two. Of her clothes I need to hang those up um, I need to vacuum her room and I need to clean up my bedroom and deep clean my bathroom so that is what I'm gonna be doing um, I'm a little I'm a little upset not upset but I'm a little down that um, right now like I've been trying to do um, practice on my nails, actually on my um, my my fake hand, which is this hand right here. Um, Y'all see, I started my French tip. It's actually this, and it um, velcros to my table. But um, I started this set. Uh, which I've been trying to do for the past like almost a week. But every time I start, uh, Ava cries and she tends to, when she gets really, really, really upset, not upset, but frustrated or cranky. Um, she, when she does that, I am the one that usually can soothe her and get her to calm down. Johnny can sometimes when I get a little bit overwhelmed. Um, He'll take her and calm her down, but a lot of the times I can really soothe her and get her to stop crying. So in the midst of me, it'd be like one night where we're like, oh, like Johnny's like, you know, you can do your nails, I can game. She's been out for a little while, so we should be good. And as soon as we start, I wanna say like 10, 15 minutes into it, she starts crying. So. I'm just like, you know, maybe, maybe, um, you know, I can hold off with doing nails, which it really had me down because y'all know, like I have put together a lot of stuff for my nails, um, and all my acrylics, the acrylics I created, um, just all my stuff. Like I have a whole bunch of stuff. And all of this is filled with uh, nail stuff as well. But I'm ready to go, ready to go. And it's just hard. And I'm like, I wanna start bringing in my customers and stuff like that, but it's just hard to do that with a newborn baby because if I bring in a customer, I'm probably gonna be on their nails all day long because she just be crying. And I'll be like, baby girl, like your mom is trying to, run a business and I can't do it with you wanting to be latched on to me but it is what it is um it's all about her right now um but 
um i don't know if you guys um if some of you guys have seen like older older videos maybe if i find a video i could like link it somewhere on here but um i rhinestone out tumblers as well um i used to do that when i was in uh louisiana i can show you guys two of the ones that i did but here's one that i did and this actually comes open and you can put uh medicine down there but there's that one and then i did this one that's the thing. When you're and it says wife of a soldier and then it has miss mika baby on the side um but um johnny's on my phone with his cousin but uh, i figure like you know maybe i can um go back to doing like i said don't mind the closet that is our closet where we just threw everything in when we first moved in here so don't mind the closet but anyway um so i ordered um from the place that i bought all of my other tumblers like the tumblers that you've seen that i just showed you um i ordered some more tumblers but um i decided i don't want to do uh, regular tumblers. I kind of want to stick to just two different tumblers. And I'm going to show you guys the tumblers really quick. Well, one of them is like a, I'll show you in a second. It's not really a tumbler. It's like kind of a tumbler, but not a tumbler. So I want to do uh, sippy cups. So I ordered this sippy cup. I'm going to, this is an eight ounce sippy cup, sippy cup, and there's a 14 ounce sippy cup. So, um, I have the 14 ounce sippy cups. Um, I just like put everything in my shopping cart. So I just have to, um, check out, but, um, yeah, so this is a 14 ounce sippy cup and I am going to do these milk boxes so I have these acrylic milk boxes um, they're super super cute so I'm gonna do sippy cup and milk boxes oop my baby's crying um, I'm gonna do those and then uh, yeah so I want to have uh, income coming in as well because I'm going to be a stay-at-home mother. So I have to have some type of in income coming in. Johnny's like, don't worry about it, but I can't. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll show you guys more of them once I get all of my stuff hey, in. Mom, hey, I'm coming. He likes the other one better. He does. I do it with your husband. What, mama? The Afro beat when I made. Oh, okay. He's obsessed with that song. <laughs> That's the one your brother was like, you made that? No. Nah. You want to say hi? Hi to your YouTube family. Oh, Hold on, y'all. Come here, mama. What you grunting grunt for, mama? What? What, baby Kay? Johnny's making burger and fries. But here's little mama. She's getting so big, you guys. I am nine pounds and seven ounces. 
I dig now. But yeah, so we ain't been really doing anything today, but trying to get rest. <laughs> Trying to get rest, cause Miss Sassy Pants right here. She slept her ass off today. <laughs> she slept today. <laughs> I'm tired. But yeah, so. And, but I'm not tired. Like I'm tired, but I'm like, I'm so rested that I'm tired. Yeah, we I mean, gotta, huh? Yeah, I mean. We gotta go get her some more milk because she only has three bottles left so she eats every three to four hours she eat hold up y'all can you remind me uh you'll probably remember when you had this video um to when this grease is not hot anymore to take a little bit out yeah okay. you're, you're gonna remind me to go back and be like hey um, what was I about to say? No, after that. Oh, so how she eats. So she eats every three to four hours. Um, when she's up, it's more like almost three hours. Um, but when she sleep, at first, when we first brought her home, we would like wake her up so she can eat. Now we just like let her sleep. And then, uh, when we start seeing her like move around and make noises that's when we get her bottles ready um but she eats she eats about um four ounces if she's super super hungry we'll give her five um but the doctor said that that's okay so yeah our baby is growing but let me tend to her